I am married. Next month, next month is my 16 year wedding anniversary. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So sorry about your luck, ladies. This ship has sailed. You know what I'm saying? Love my wife. My wife is actually the first and only woman I have ever dated. Okay, thanks for making that so weird, everybody. That couldn't have been, that couldn't have been any more awkward at all. Just the blank stares. Then as it was silent, one guy in the back goes, woo! Did you hear that guy? I appreciate him trying to fill the silence. Thank you. Thank you, Ric Flair. People ask me since my wife, my wife, my very first date was with my wife. And people ask me, you know, and I, I, I didn't have my first date with my wife until I was 23 years old. Okay, again, that was just awkward. This was, you didn't learn from the last one. You didn't learn, I heard a giggle down. And then over there, another, wow, really, really? That was my first date, was with my wife, and people want to know, since she's the only woman I've ever dated, how I knew she was the one. And I knew from the very first date, because our very first date was on the 4th of July. And on the night of our very first date, outside my window, I could hear Proud to be an American by Lee Greenwood. <laughs> I felt like I was falling in love for America, you know? It's like, I'm proud to be an American. I'm on a date, I'm 23. <laughs> My wife's a patriot, that's what I'm getting at. She went out with me, she's a patriot. <laughs> Fell in love for America. <laughs> you weren't expecting that on that kick, were you? That kind of threw you. If anyone has some Icy Hot, that would help right now, not gonna lie. <laughs> I got, I got my wife, I got my wife a great gift for our anniversary. Ladies, back me up. This is a great gift, right? For our last anniversary, I got my wife a spa day. That's nice, right? Nice. Great. The full day. My wife's gift to me was not good at all. Not good at all. My wife actually had a star named after me. Thank you for laughing. You right there. Those of you awing, you're only awing because it never happened to you. It's not real. It's not a real thing. It's a guy in his basement with a printer. That's what it is. There are people in their backyards going, ooh, there's Andromeda, the beautiful princess. Uh oh, and there's Orion, the mighty hunter. Uh oh, and there's Dan, the gap tooth guy from Ohio. <laughs> they don't say that. They don't name stars after guys who look like Incrediboy from The Incredibles. That's not... A... Thank you. I wish that one didn't work so well. I'm not gonna lie. I really wish. 